So let's say you strip away all of the money that I have ever made online, ever. You take away my contacts, you take away everything. You just leave me with the knowledge I have right now, a laptop, some Wi-Fi, a camera, and a thousand dollars. How would I go about investing that $1,000 into my social media marketing agency from scratch to scale it up to 10K? So here's how I exactly would take $1,000 and invest it into SMA to actually make this work. Now guys, if you see me looking over here, it's just because I've got a couple of notes I wanna reel off, but this is gonna be one of the most powerful videos I make on this channel. So I know there's a lot of people that are trying to start off SMA from completely broke, or maybe they've got a little bit of money to play around with. In this scenario, let's say I'm completely broke, I'm going back, I've got zero clients right now, and I'm going to start the whole SMA, traditional just SMA journey all over again. Let's pretend it's 2000 and 18 Montel trying to start all over again. Here's what I would do instead. First and foremost, guys, I personally, honestly, these days, don't really recommend starting SMA unless you're gonna buy some sort of program or just study relentlessly. If you can't afford a program, study relentlessly, but if you're not gonna do either of those, you can try it yourself. I personally, and this is just me, and, I, and, and it happens to a lot of people that I actually speak to as well, and this, they're kind of like, I'm on a similar level of me or above me, they also regret doing this, which is not investing in themselves. Now, that's rich coming from someone on the internet. That's not a like reverse psychology thing to go and buy my program. Here's why I kind of like uh, regret this. Every single time I tell this story, I kind of like feel stupid about it, but it took me 16 months to land my first client. That 16 months of struggling. I fell out with my parents, I ran away from home. My relationship right now with my parents still has a dent in it and a stain in it because of that. I could have literally easily just went and got a freaking Uber job, made my parents happy, invested into a program and fast track my results. I wish I did that. Now, even my relationship with my parents is still a little bit rocky, it's still a little bit awkward, it's still a little bit like, I told you so, but you didn't really believe in me in the beginning, and now we've got this little bit of a thingy going on. Although I love my parents, I know that that will always be there. And I feel like that's my fault because I could have done a better job. I tried to do it all myself, so I'm just giving you a word of warning. You can do this if you're completely broke. I always have this, I have this kind of like my own saying is that like, when you start an SMA, you have two options to start with. You can use money to start, which will speed up the, speed up the process, or you can just use what you call sweat equity if you've got no money. If you've got no money, it's gonna take you time. If you've got money, it's gonna save you time. Those are, the, those are the two di the dichotomies, if you will. So let me talk about what I would do real quick if I was to go back. Let's say you, you, you're you not investing in a course, you're not sold on anybody's course, you think they're all scams, you're very weary, you're risk adverse, you just wanna invest $1,000 into SMA. What should you do? Well, here's what I would do. Number one is I would not do Facebook ads. I would not do anything to do with paid ads just yet. Sounds crazy, I know, but I wouldn't do cold outreach and I wouldn't do Facebook ads. I would not do either of those. Here's what I would do. I would start off with a content marketing agency. This is exactly how I started, by the way, just doing social media management. That was like where I got my kind of like foothold that set for, you know, outside of Upwork. I'll mention that in a, in a different video if you want me to. But I would start with social media management, AKA literally posting content on other people's you know platforms now you're probably wondering why on earth would anybody would pay me for pay you for this well the reason for this is because it's a convenience offer they're paying you for the convenience it's almost like having a cleaner you can yes you can clean yourself but why do you want to clean yourself if you can pay somebody ten dollars an hour to clean or it's like an accountant yes technically i can learn how to do my own books and file my own tax returns and stuff like that but why would I spend my time doing that? I don't want to, I'd rather have somebody doing it for me. It's convenience is what I'm trying to say. Why would you wanna, as a professional big business owner or just a business owner in general, why would you wanna be stuck messing about with social media all day when you've got customers to tend to and do other things in your business? It's a convenience thing. So I would do social media management and I'd also do short form content, 100% short form content. Short form content is Instagram Reels, YouTube Shorts, TikToks, those sorts of things. Taking people's podcast episodes, for example, or like my YouTube videos, like 10, 10 minute long YouTube videos, and chopping them out down into like 60 seconds, 30 second clips. I would be doing that. And I'd be at the first place I'd go to is I would actually be going to Upwork to do my outreach because it's a warm traffic source. Upwork and Facebook groups. So if you're under 18, take what I'm saying here and just apply it to Facebook groups. And what I would do is I'd join a whole bunch of Facebook groups that have my ideal audience in them. Let's say I'm targeting online agency owners or online coaches. I'd go and join a bunch of Facebook groups that have online coaches inside of them. And I'd join a whole bunch of Facebook groups that have online agency owners in them. I would do that. 
that those are, that's completely free. We haven't spent a single penny yet. What I would then do is I would actually create, right, a video sales letter. This is basically a, like a, what I like to call them case study funnels. I made a video on this not too long ago. If you guys wanna steal my, my, my video sales letter, which is like a presentation that does all of the heavy lifting for you, it's a, video presentation that lasts about anywhere between like 15 to 25 minutes long that introduces yourself. It basically sells your service for you. It reduces friction on the sales call itself. You know, when you actually jump on sales calls, it sell, it tells the people what you do do and what you don't do. It breaks their limiting beliefs and it also provides value in terms of you can educate them or you can put in case studies if you have them. If you have no case studies, don't worry, you can go and find a media buyer or you can go and build case studies, case study funnels without actually having real life results. I know it sounds crazy, but even just putting your video on, like your face on camera, on a video, explaining your services and why such short form content is needed and why social media, media is absolutely powerful for you know online, online coaches, for example, if that's your niche, just putting that into a video will actually set you ahead of 99.9% .9 of people that are trying to start an agency. I am not even joking. Most people won't do that because they're scared to jump on camera. That, that, that literally will already eliminate 99.9% .9 of your competition. So what do you think you should do watching this? Go and create one, obviously. I'll put the link below if you do want to use and steal my template, but that is on ClickFunnels, that, that version. ClickFunnels is $97, so we're not spending $97 right now per month. That's per month, by the way. What I would do is I would go and build what I've just told you to build, which is a video sales letter, and I would build it on WordPress. WordPress is completely free. All you have to do is buy a domain. If you buy a domain, that's $10 for the domain. I think it might be 10 or $12. I'm just gonna say $10 in this, because if, if not, it's just an extra $2 at the end when I say the total, total fee for all this. So it's $10, and then you have to pay for a professional email domain. We're not gonna be using the email domain just yet, but the email domain we're actually gonna get will be our internal professional domain. For example, I would literally just call my agency my name. So my, my domain would literally be montelgordon.com. I'm not even joking, I would start with that, montelgordon.com or montelmedia.com. I'd probably stay away from the word media or agency, to be honest with you, maybe call it like brand fuel or something like that. That's one of the domains I actually own, brandfuel.com, for example. That would be a very cool little domain right there. Then what I would do is actually get the email address. So that would cost me 10 US dollars to buy that, by the way. So right now we've spent, up to, remember this, we've only spent $10 so far. We've not bought ClickFunnels, we've just got WordPress. WordPress is free to build, and we can build funnels on that with opt-in pages. That's what we're building, a video sales letter. And again, this is to sell our service and act like a duplicate salesperson. We do want one of these. It puts us so far ahead of everybody else. Then what I'm gonna do is, we've got the domain now, because obviously that sends people to you know, brandfuel.com. Then my domain, my actual email domain will be montel at brandfuel.com. Now I've got a professional domain. I won't be using my professional domain, which is montel at brandfuel.com for any sort of outreach. This is just for handling certain software and communicating back and forth with clients here and there, like existing clients. Obviously, we don't have any existing clients right now, but we've only spent $10 up until this point. Now that we've got WordPress, we're not using ClickFunnels just yet, we're using WordPress. If you do wanna use ClickFunnels, you can kind of speed ahead and steal my funnel because it's actually a plug and play, but you don't have to. You can use the free version, which is WordPress. Use WordPress. So what we're doing right now is we've got a video sales letter set up, we've got a professional domain set up, we've got our content offer, like a short form like content offer, and now we've got our onboarding process set up. Well, we're gonna go and set this onboarding process up right now. And we're gonna use Vimeo for this. Vimeo is a completely free video hosting website, and we're just gonna upload five to seven mini videos that are like one to two minutes long, and these are just gonna explain how people can get onboarded with us, how they sign the contract, what the contract's about, what this onboarding process is about, what your services are, and what they aren't, how you can help them as well. And it's like an onboarding process. This is for clients that you close on a call. So after you've taken a call with a client, you've actually, you know, you've reached out to a client, you've jumped on a call with a client, you've closed them, you then have them onboarded. And that onboarding process needs to be smooth or you're gonna start losing clients very quickly. If you don't have a proper onboarding process, the expectations from your clients all off and you can actually lose clients because of buyer's remorse. People will start, if you spend $600, $500, $1,000, $2,000 on, 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 a, on a service, and the onboarding process is off, you're gonna be like, shit, why did I just invest in this? This was a horrible decision straight away. I can see this is all clunky. So you wanna have a proper onboarding process. So that's where your onboarding process comes in. And again, you can create this on WordPress. It's the same domain that it's connected to. I know I had a student ask me this, but your, your video sales letter would be like brandfuel.com. That's literally the website. 
people would land on that. They'll go through your case study, blah, 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 blah. And then your, your onboarding process would be brandfuel.com forward slash onboarding process. It's the same domain, it's just that the, 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 the thing that comes after the slash is slightly different. That's basically it. How web, that's basically how a website works, by the way. If you guys, I'm pretty sure you've been on fucking websites. So the next thing we wanna get is Candly. So again, all we've spent up to this point is $10, 10 USD. Now I'm gonna start spending a little bit of money, but we're gonna get Calendly for free first. Calendly is a calendar software, so we want Calendly for free. Gonna use that. For sending invoices back and forth, we're gonna use Stripe as a payment processor and PayPal, Stripe and PayPal. You are gonna pay a little bit of fees on Stripe and PayPal. I know that Stripe's fees actually slightly increasing, which kind of sucks. Everything's going up these days, but long story short, Stripe and PayPal are, are the things that we're gonna to use to send invoices. We're not gonna get simple invoices.io, which is what I, I know I recommend on this channel and what I've been using for literally years. But if you're strapped for cash, you don't need to buy it because what you can do is you can use Stripe's inbuilt invoicing feature and PayPal's in, inbuilt invoicing feature. So the expense that we've got right now up to this point is we've got $10 for the domain, and we've got six dollars per month to pay for that to pay for the email version of that domain. So we've got brandfuel.com, for example, and we've got montel at brandfuel.com. So we're paying ten dollars for the domain. That's a one-off fee. We only pay that per year, by the way. And we've got six dollars per month recurring, so we can have a professional domain, which is montel at yoururl.com. There you go. That's what I mean by that. Now the big expense that we're actually going to be using is Upwork. We're going to skip over cold outreach for now. And we're gonna use on what I like to call the triangle method. The triangle method is at the top of the triangle is OPAs, OPA. An OPA is an other person's audience, someone else's audience basically, OPA, another person's audience. Upwork is technically another person's audience. So you, do, you don't own Upwork's audience, you actually pay to play. Normally when it's someone else's audience, they set the rules and Upwork's rule is, you know, you have to pay to play. However, the leads on Upwork are just so much warmer, so much easier to get into contact with. So the, your reply rate is gonna be so much better that you're gonna actually be able to double this $1,000 in a couple of months, maybe even in the first couple of days, if I'm being honest with you guys. I've had students come to my program, for example, like each rotation, start Upwork outreach on Monday and by Wednesday, they've closed a $2,600 deal. I am not even joking like quite literally. So what we're gonna do though, is we're gonna to apply to anywhere between 10 to 15 jobs that even just hint at anything to do with social media management, like content creation or like short form content. Even if it just says it one time and they say they've got, they want like 10 different things, like all the jobs on, on Upwork by the way, clients get what you call trigger fingers. A client will sit there and think, oh, we want SEO. Well, if you're gonna do SEO for us, you might as well do blogs. If you're gonna do blogs for us, you might as well do our Facebook ads. If you're gonna do Facebook ads, you might as well do our email marketing. People have a frigging spasm when they're writing this. These clients, the actual clients are writing writing these job postings, by the way. Upwork's a freelance website. I'm not affiliated in any way, shape or form. I think I have to say that. But long story short, you wanna go onto Upwork, start applying to jobs people post out, and that will allow you to basically skip ahead of all this lead sourcing stuff, finding leads, warming up email domains, hiring virtual assistants. You don't need to do all of that crap. Even even picking your niche, all you need to do is just offer social media management and short form content. Just go out there and start it right now. You can start an Upwork account for completely free, start applying to jobs. I would apply to 10 to 15 of those a day. Obviously the more the better. So 10 to 20 would be even better. And you're gonna spend around 216 USD per month on this platform. So now in total, what we've got is $232 we've spent in the first month. But for the rest of the months, it's $222 per month. So what we're gonna end up spending is $10 on the domain to purchase it one off. Then we've got $6 per month recurring. And we do actually wanna buy this domain, by the way, the internal professional domain, because it at least makes us look professional. And we need the domain anyway, because we need a video sales letter eventually. And we need our onboarding process anyway. So we might as well do it properly the first time around so we don't have to go back and redo our onboarding process. That's what I'm talking about there. Then we're also for contracts, we're gonna use a software called Doc Sketch. Doc Sketch is completely free, there's a free version of it, and you can just use that. So we've got a calendar software, we've got a website, we've got a domain, we've got a video hosting platform for our, for when we host our videos, like our video sales letter and our onboarding process videos. We've got an invoicing system for taking payments, which is Stripe and PayPal. And then we've got an outreach system, which is Upwork. And that's gonna cost us, two, the, the bulk of our cost is literally Upwork outreach, which is gonna cost us $216 per month. Now here's the methodology behind it. So that's a total cost of $232 for the first month. 
and then month two will be $222 because again, we don't need to keep buying domains over and over and over again because we're not using any sort of cold outreach. What I would do then is I would stick to doing Upwork outreach for 90 days straight, 90 days straight. So what we've done is we've spent 222 three times over. So that ends up being 666. Well, it actually ends up being 676. So that's $676. I'm telling you right now, you can probably turn that $676 into probably 2.5K per month. I've had students, like I said, jump onto Upwork in their first day, close a client. I've had another student jump into HMTation, start using Upwork outreach. In their second day, they've closed a $1,500 client. In there, I've had another student do $2,600 in their third day. I've had a student do a $1,000, close a $1,000 per month client in, in their first week. I even, I myself even closed when I first, first ever started using Upwork, it took me 15 days, 15, not, not 50, 15 as in like five times three days to actually close my first client. And that was a $600 per month client. So what I would do is I'd continuously rinse and repeat the Upwork process until I had at least 3,000 USD in the bank. Once I've got 3,000 USD in the bank, so I've taken that $1,000 and I've got, well, technically it's not, but you got $4,000. You've still got the $1,000 playing around in the system as cash flow, but you've now got $3,000. So in total, you've got now $4,000. I would do Upwork as long as it took me to get $4,000 on me. Then what I would do is I would take the 3,000 USD and I would go and hire two virtual assistants at $3 per month each. And I would get them to sit down and write me first lines and cold outreach for basically two hours per day to actually land clients outside of Upwork. Or what I would do is I would start creating a lot of content whilst I'm actually doing Upwork outreach on how short form content works. And I would do this on Facebook, I would do this on LinkedIn, and I'd do this on Instagram, and mainly YouTube. I'd be, I'd be on YouTube creating a whole bunch of content around my offer, what it does, who it helps. It can help online agencies, it can help online coaches, and I would literally sit here and make videos like I am right now for completely free, using a free iPhone to generate inbound leads. And I'm telling you right now, this is one of the quickest ways to get to 10K per month plus. This is what I call the triangle method. Number one is you use another person's audience. Number two is you start building up your own audience. That's one part of the triangle, another part of the triangle. The third thing is now because you're making money from these parts, other people's audiences, AKA Upwork, you've then started building your, out your own little personal brand on Facebook. For example, you're connecting with a whole bunch of online coaches on Facebook and you're dropping content on your, on your platform. People are gonna start coming to you. You're gonna start getting inbound leads. You're, you're dropping YouTube videos as well. You're gonna definitely gonna start getting inbound leads, especially if you put your candle link below, talking about your short form content offer. You're gonna start talking about content, short form content, why it helps online coaches, how to how to scale and get inbound leads for online coaches using TikTok. That would be a great video title, by the way. Then what you would do is people will start coming to you through your candle link below in your description. So now you've got you've leveraged your other people's audience. You've leveraged, you're starting to build your own audience. And now what you can do is because you're making money from these two different systems, you can invest it into doing cold outreach by hiring virtual assistants to take this and boost this even further for you. And that my friends is how exactly you would go from zero to 10K per month, per month with a thousand dollars. It's the most powerful, underplayed, understated, version and just way of doing this I have ever found. I, I've, I'm yet to find a way that, that can actually beat this. And this is literally what agents from Tation always has been built around. The actual hybrid system. First of all, technically it's the hybrid system. I don't really teach you in any transportation about the, the, you know, building your own audience, but it still works the same way. The triangle works either way. If you go from here, point one to point two or point one to point three. Point three to point one point point point. It, it works either way. It's a trifecta. It's like a tri, it's, like, it's almost like a circle is what I'm trying to say. It feeds into itself. Well, honestly, guys, I'm yet to beat this. If you guys want to work with me one-to-one -to, -one to help you out with this, link is below. Or if you want to enroll as age rotation again, the link is below. Spots are still open for that. Anyway, guys, I hope that you're doing well, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to drop a like, comment, subscribe. Peace.